raised me from a young age, um, as a young black man, to to one never walk by myself at night, which is it's it's interesting because a lot of mothers and fathers tell their their daughters that too. So it's a lot of comparison in that, in the fact that you don't want your daughter to walk around alone at night just because you don't trust people. Not that your daughter's gonna do anything. You just don't trust people out here. And uh, my parents raised me the same way. And just being as a young African American man, they taught me just at nighttime, just you know, try to always have somebody with you. And you know, the events like Trayvon Martin, and you know, for me personally. It really brings just just so much awareness to you as to me as a whole, um, just on the cruel things that can really happen in America. You know, like kids who just aren't who are minding their own business. And like I said earlier, it goes back to you know people assume things based on the color of our skin, and you know don't even know who we are or what kind of people we really are. Or, you know what our what our goals and ambitions are in life like just because we're African Americans. I was pretty young I was like four and um, my dad's best friend is African American and he has just been a part of my life since I can remember and he um, is my godfather so we call him Uncle Abe and he's just the best and he um, lived with us for a time and we when I was four and my sister was six my grandpa died and my parents had to go take care of my grandma so he stayed with us and took care of us and he took us to a movie and we went to go see Finding Nemo and we um, got to the movie theater and the lady at the ticket counter was like, oh, are you supposed to be with them? And he was like, yeah, these are my goddaughters. We just want to go see Finding Nemo and she's like, okay. Um, and her and the guy at the, the counter kind of looked at each other. Um, and then we walked into the movie and a lady that we like didn't know stopped him and asked him what he was doing with us and he was like, I'm supposed to be with them, I'm taking care of them. Um, and I remember getting home that night and telling my parents about it and my sister and I like talked to them, we were really confused and they said, well, <clears throat> it's because his skin color is different than yours and people don't understand. And I remember being really confused by that because um, as a four year old, I didn't really, he had just been such a big part of my life that I had never really realized that there was a difference with us. Um, and to become aware of that um, at such a young age was really weird. And I hated to think that people um, didn't want him to be with us because his skin color was different than ours. It's just sad that, you know, people won't even, some people won't even take the time to try and get to know you or talk to you or try and feel you out or feel who you are or anything. They'll just automatically um, resort to violence or a negative assumption or a stereotype or something of that nature and it's just like that situation with Trayvon Martin could could easily be Jordan Lyons or it could easily be my best friend Trey Clark or it could easily be some guys I grew up with and you know that's that's scary and that's something that you have to be fully aware of at all times as a young African-American man just the fact that you know that hap stuff like that happened a lot and it's something that you just have to be aware of and something that brings a lot of, a lot of, it's a, it's a big eye opener. It brings a lot of awareness to you and, and things that, that truly can happen. It's hard to have a conversation with everyone who is looking and sounding and feeling and having the same experiences as you have and have a serious conversation about race. So I think the first thing that we need to do is to have more interactions, um, more opportunities for those kind of discussions. So, um, and I think we need to not be afraid to have the discussions. So um, some of that I think takes education. I mean, obviously it takes education on all sorts of levels, but it takes education explicitly about how do you talk about these issues? Because um, I think some people shy away from discussions of race because they are worried about offending somebody inadvertently, or they're not sure what kind of vocabulary they're supposed to use, or they might have a question that they want to ask a black friend, but they don't know you know, if they're going to offend them by doing that. And I think um, those kind of fears limit our ability to better understand each other. So I, think I feel like part of our problem in America is we make it a, a white versus black thing. Or I'm most, I'm African American, so most of my racial in encounters in my life have been with white people. I'm not saying other races and ethnicities aren't 
um, oppressed. But for me personally, it's, it's happened to be with white people. So I think we make it a, a white versus black thing. But I think if we really, if we really cared about this, and we really truly wanted to make a change, then why don't we? People don't take time to just sit down and talk to each other and 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 express how we feel. Like for me, I'll never know what it's like to be a white man. You know, like I just won't. Like I'm an African American. That's who I am. That's who I was born as. That's who I always be. And if you, for instance, you'll never know how it is to be an African American man. And that's nothing against me or you. That's how God created us. But if I guarantee you, if if me or you sit down and have a man-to-man, -man, respectful conversation, and I tell you how I feel, and you tell me how you feel, and we talk about it, and we educate each other on how we feel from opposite sides of the spectrum, A, we'll leave that conversation with like, wow, I didn't know that, I didn't know they feel like that, you know, it'll bring a lot more awareness, and you'll be a lot more informed. B, we'll have a lot more respect for each other and a lot more respect for each other's races and ethnicities. And C, we'll be a lot less likely to, to make a mistake that would offend the other one because we tr now we've sat down and we understand and you know we've talked it, we've talked about it and I get you and you get me and we, we understand where it's coming from. You know, and I think in America, we don't do enough of that. We just want to blame, blame the other one, you know. Blacks want to blame whites, whites want to blame blacks. There's too much we're against each other when in reality, we all live in this great country together. We, we get this beautiful thing called life that the good Lord bless us with. Like cherish it, man. Like enjoy everyone you come across. Like try and be the best person you can be and try and help everybody that comes in your path be the best man or woman that he or she strives to be. And I think the more we do that as a, as a whole, as a country, man, you will we'll really start to see a difference. But like I said earlier, man, like people have to people have to want that, man. People have to have to have a care to do that. Like that's not something that you just going to wake up one day and, and and it's just going to snap. Like you have to actually want that and actually care to make to make a change and make a difference. And I think I think there's a lot of people who do, but they either don't know how to or they're scared to or they're scared what other people are going to think, man. I would say just try and find one person. Just try and find one person that that you can talk to and, and try and have a respectful conversation with and watch and watch how watch how much you'll learn and watch how much you'll take from that conversation and be inspired and, and motivated and watch how much that changes a lot of your perspective on things. I think, you know, once you start with one and you you get that and you get that perspective, you never know it might lead you to, to talk to, to other people and more people. And the more you do it, the more understanding and the more knowledge you get. And I think the more we do that as a country, man, the better. And I think, you know, that's a big step in trying to make a, trying to make a change.